are the rest of you coping with those expectations from viewers, from fans, from networks as you continue to push through your seasons? I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I, I, I love season two. For me, I, I felt like season one was like the rough draft because you, don't, you just don't know. You know, you don't, you don't know the characters very well. You don't know the world that well. You don't know if it's going to work. You know, you have a sense of what you think is, um, is supposed to be like the themes and the stakes and stuff of your show, but, but you don't know. You know, and so you, you figure it out as it goes and you see it on the screen and you think, oh, that really worked and that really didn't. Um, and then you get to the end of the season and you're like, oh, okay, good. Now I've, like, now I'm ready to start the season, you know, but it's the end of season one. So I, I, I like season two. I, I, you know, I, I like coming back with, like, given circumstances and stakes. I like knowing the characters really intimately. You know, our world is much more complex this season. For me, season one was such a shock, actually, in terms of how well it did that I'm just glad we got renewed. <laughs> um, so going, I, I'm like, yeah, if season two does well, great, you know, icing on the cake. And if it doesn't, well, I, sh I shouldn't say that. No, no, it's going to do great. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Cole! What? Don't do that. Why? Because you're scaring me. That's why. I'm scaring you. Yes. I'm scaring you. I've done every fucking thing you've asked me, Allison. I read all of the books. We went to see the therapist. I went to see a fucking priest. I know. I'm I know. trying. I wake up every morning with his face in my mind, too. You're not the only one who lost I a know, child I here. Know. I was shocked by how, um, how personally people take uh, the, the idea of infidelity. Like, I thought we were making a show about two perspectives and how interesting that was. You know, I thought this is going to be a conversation that's going to be like, oh, isn't that interesting? Men and women, like, they're different. They see things differently, you know? And then it was like, they're having an affair. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that was the the title of the show. I didn't think that part was going to be a, a surprise. So, yeah, I, I found that shocking. And, and in retrospect, I realized that that was probably pretty naive um, of me. What was your favorite scene that you guys have written for your show this year? The one that was the most gratifying or conversely, the one that was the most difficult to write. I have two. I, I really, I, I was looking forward to writing the scene where Allison says, says what happened to her son mm -hmm. for a long time because I feel like it was a moment that we were sort of leaning to and, and God, Ruth gave such an amazing performance. And when she went to shoot it, actually, she asked for, she was very smart, she asked for no notes. She wanted nobody to interfere with her for the first couple takes because she just wanted to sort of get it out. And then, you know, she's a genius. But um, I really liked writing the scene where Helen asks Noah to come home, even after he's left, and put her through everything. Because I felt that that scene was so honest. You know, him being like, I, I thought you hated me. I thought you wanted a divorce. And she's like, God, it's not what we expected either. I don't want either. you to divorce, you <laughs> asshole. Like, I just want you back, you know? And I thought that that scene really sort of pointed to what happens in a relationship after a certain amount of time, 20 years of marriage, whatever, where it's like, you forgive people so much, you have to, in order to stay with them for your whole life. I mean, things that you never thought you'd say okay to, you have to say okay to, or you have to leave them, you know, and, and the cost of leaving is so, especially after kids have come in and you've been together for that long, it's so, so high that I feel like that scene was, a, for me, was a nice refutation of like the expectations of romantic love and marriage and what you think you're signing up for and then where you find yourself. Um, and I thought it was just, I thought more just knocked that one out of the park too. So.